Uh, good morning, student. Today we will solve numerical. In which the circuit is given to you, and we have to find the current flowing through the branch. The circuit is given like this. The circuit is given to you like this, and we have to find the <coughs> value of the current flowing through BE. Value of the current flowing through value and direction of the current in branch B. Find the value and direction of current. To be, we so have to find out what is the value of this current. What is the value of the current flowing through the B, and we have to also find whether what should be the direction of current, whether it is it is from B to E or E to B. Okay, so we will just see that we will just rearrange the circuits and. We will make, we will modify the circuit according to your convenience so that the circuit will become simple. Uh, otherwise, it will become very complicated. So I am just tilting this by angle 90 degree. So when you tilt it by uh, 90 degree, uh, not 90 degree, 180 degree. So it will be, it will look like this. And this is actually the U point. This is B. This is E. And this is D point. Um, sorry, this is C point. This is C point, and this is D point. And the direction of uh, these are the values. Uh, this thirty. No, this is sorry. You tilt in this. So the value of the current will be like this. And this is the ten. This is twenty. And this is twenty. This is again. So oh, there is also again. Register. This is ten twenty. Ten twenty. Then this is a thirty twenty. And this is forty. Mm. This is ten. Then this is twenty. Okay, we have to find the current flowing through this branch. 
so we will not change this resistance or will not modify this resistance with remaining resistance we will just see what can be done through this there are many methods we can there are these loops are there one loop this second loop third loop fourth loop so fourth loops are there we can apply the kvl to these loops and we will get the simultaneous equations solve that simultaneous equations and we will get the value of the current flowing through this loops and then you can find the value of the current flowing through this band but that will become little bit complicated so what we'll do we will just uh, this is delta we will just convert this into the star you will convert this into the star and then we will modify the circuits accordingly okay so now i will convert this into the star so this resistance is nothing but delta to star okay so delta to star resistance So this resistance I will give a name this to this is suppose R1. So R1 is 20 into 5 divided by 20 plus 5 plus 10. Okay. This is coming to find it by ohm. Similarly, I will give this name to this resistance is suppose R2 and this is R3. So R2 is again, um, R2 is this 20 into 10 divided by 35. So 200 divided by 35. This is coming equal to 1.428 ohm and R3 resistance. No, 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 sorry. This is R. Yes, this is actually R3. This R3. Now we will calculate R2. Uh, R2 is equal to, so this is not equal to that. So this is coming 5.71 ohm and this R2 is now nothing but this this R2 is 5 into 10 so 5 into 10 divided by 35 so this is 50 by 35 this is coming equal to one point four to eight one point four to eight ohm one point four to eight ohm okay so we have to now modify your circuit So when if I modify the circuit, the circuit will become like, a, like this. This is your 20 ohm. And this is your um, 2.85 ohm. And from this is star, and this is your 1.428 ohm and this is your 40 ohm register this is your b and this is your e and this is we have got now this is 5.5 
Okay, now we have to find, now we can say, we'll further modify the circuits. We will just add these two resistances as these two resistances are in series. We will also add this resistance as these two resistances are also in series. And we'll further write the equation, uh, we'll further modify the circuit it will become very simple now to apply the QVL also. So one resistance is there in this side, one resistance is there in this side, one is there in this side, and So this is a 22.85, uh, this is 10 ohm, and this is 41.42, and this is 5.71 and 30. Okay, now we'll give the name, this is suppose I1, this is I2, and this is I3. So we'll follow, there are three loops are there, we'll apply the KVL to these loops and we'll find the three equations, okay. Apply KVL to loop one. So if you apply the KVL to this loop one, So minus 22.85 I1 plus 22.85 I2 minus 5.71 I1 plus 5.71 I3 plus 2 is equal to 0 and this solve this further this is equation number one okay now we have to apply the kvl to this two second Apply KVL to second loop. When you apply KVL to the second loop, it's this second loop. So this minus 41.42 I3 plus 41.42 I2 minus 30 I3 minus 5.71 I3 plus 5.71 I1 is equal to 0. And therefore, this is a 5.71 I1 plus 41.42 I2, this is minus 77.18 I3 is equal to 0 and this is equation number 2. Okay. Now we have applied this to this loop. Okay. So this minus 41.42 I3 plus 41.42 I2. Okay. So now this is the main. This loop is now, now we will apply 
we will to this law. Apply KVL to third loop. So this is where to apply here. Minus twenty two point eight five I two minus twenty two point eight five I two plus twenty two point eight five I one minus ten I two minus forty one point twenty eight. Uh, Forty one point forty two I two plus forty one point forty two I three this equal to zero and you will get here twenty one point eighty five I one minus seventy four point twenty seven I two is forty one point forty two I three is equal to zero and this is your equation number three. Okay, now if you solve these three equations, I one, I two, I three, on solving, solving one, two, and three, we get. I one is equal to point one three one two nine one I one five I two is equal to point not six five three seven seven two one and I three is equal to point not four four seven Nine nine four. Now we have got this current, and we are interested here to find the value. Actually, this is the current flowing through. What is the current flowing through this? B. And this is a B two D. This is B to D. This is A and this C. This is A and this is C. Now we have to find the current flowing through from B to E. So we have got here. What is the value of this current flowing through this branch? It is a This current is flowing is nothing but I two minus I three. This I two is going in this direction. I three is coming in this direction. So what is the current of current flowing through B? It is nothing but I two minus I three. Okay. So this I two minus I three. This current will flow. So we'll just take the difference of this i two minus i three. The value of current flowing through flowing through B E is i two minus i three. And therefore, I two is one not six five three seven seven two one minus one not four four seven nine nine 
four. And if you find this, you get this current flowing through the beam it is. Mm. You can check this value is coming equal to like this, and therefore this is twenty milliampere. Okay. You can check this value. What is value is this? So this is a 20 milliampere is the current flowing through. Current through BE. Now what is the direction of the current? Direction of the current is direction of current is from B to E. Thanks for watching.